Hi everyone, it's Essie here and today I'm going to be doing an updated American Girl doll collection video. I haven't done one of these for a while and I've gotten some new dolls since then and so I thought it would just be fun with it being um, pretty early on in the new year of 2021. I just thought it'd be fun to just kind of show my updated American Girl collection. So as you can see I have them all lined up here and I'm going to be showing them each individually in the order of when I got them and um, just telling you their name and just showing each one of them. So yeah, let's get right into it. So to start off, I have Felicity Merriman and I got her in 2014. I'm not sure exactly like when, like what month in that year because this was back before I had my channel and everything and actually my sister had gotten her brand new from the American Girl Company in 2010 um, right before she was retired and then um, I ended up later on in 2014 buying her from my sister when my sister outgrew dolls so yeah that's how I got her so she is um, the one that um, they had before she retired and for the first time and so um, I really love her Felicity was always my favorite American girl um, just the story, the time period, everything. I just love her and so I'm really happy that I'm able to have her in my collection. So yeah, that's Felicity. The next American Girl doll I got was Sage Copeland and I got her on March 29th of 2017 and she was kind of the first doll I bought um, like myself from, I got her off Macari actually. Um, and so I got her cheaper than what she would have been from the American Girl Company and she was already retired when I got her. Um, but I always loved Sage and I had always wanted her so she was the first one I got um, once I was a little bit older and was saving up my own money and everything. Um, so yeah, I really love this doll. She's one of my favorites. I just have always loved Sage as well and I don't know, maybe you can tell I really love redheads too. So. The next doll I got was Caroline Abbott, and I got her from the same person that I got um, Sage from. And I got her on May 25th, 2017, uh, and I have loved having this doll in my collection. She's super photogenic, she has the prettiest eyes, and I also just love her blonde curls. I have them in braids right now, but she's just such a pretty doll. I also love her time period, and just everything about her honestly and so that's the next doll I got. Next I got Kanani Akina. She was girl of the year for 2011 and I got her on September 16th 2017. I also got her from the same lady I got um, Caroline and Sage from on Mercari and yeah, I had wanted this doll ever since she came out in 2011, but back then I wasn't able to afford any American Girl dolls, and so I ended up just watching for one used um, later on, and I finally found her and got her, and I just absolutely love her. I love her long hair. I seriously wish they would make more American Girl dolls with super long hair like that. I just love it. Um, I also love her story and just that she's Hawaiian and everything. I just think it's super cool. So I love having her in my collection. The next doll I got was Nenea Mitchell. I got her in January of 2018. And she is the one and only doll I bought from the American Girl store. Like, um, directly from the American Girl store. And it was the one in Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is now closed, which I'm really sad about. So that was the first time I had ever been to the American Girl store. And, um... It was so much fun and I ended up buying her that day because I absolutely fell in love with this doll. She is so pretty. Um, I have her hair up in a braid so you can't see how gorgeous her hair is, but literally she is such a gorgeous doll. Super photogenic. She um, was one of the newer face molds that they came out with and um, she literally is just such a beautiful doll and I'm so glad that I got her. The next doll I got was Elizabeth Cole and I got her on May 17th of 2018. Um, she's also a doll I wanted forever like actually 
Um, the first doll I can remember just loving as a child was Elizabeth, um, because my older sister loved Felicity, and I love Felicity too, but I remember I loved Elizabeth because she had blonde hair like me, and I just literally loved her so much, and I always knew that I wanted to get her when I was older, but I just never did until when I got her, um, and I always had wanted to have Felicity and Elizabeth, the best friends and everything, um, so... I was able to get her like through a friend kind of I bought her from someone um, and I really love her I am sad that she doesn't have the little pin curls and someday I would love to get an Elizabeth that does have the pin curls but um she's still super beautiful and I am really glad to have her in my collection next I got Leah Clark and she was girl of the year for 2016 um, but I got her on June 3rd of 2018, and um, it was kind of a really cool thing how I got her. I always wanted her, but she was always pretty expensive online just because she is retired, and um, I just feel like she's a pretty sought-after doll um, because she is so gorgeous. But um, I ended up being able to get her um, on this deal that we found online. Um, where we literally got three American Girl dolls, um, two Our Generation dolls, an American Girl wardrobe, and like tons of accessories, like so many things, all for just $120. It was a steal. It is still the best deal on American Girl stuff we have ever gotten, and I don't think we'll ever get that good of a deal again either. So, I mean, I did not pay much for her, and so... And she was literally in almost brand new condition. Um, that video is actually back on my channel if you want to check that out and see everything we got for just $120. It was amazing. Um, anyway, so that was super, super awesome. Um, and I am just so happy about it too because I have loved having her in my collection. She is just such a beautiful doll. I love her caramely brown hair. And she's super photogenic, like literally I just love everything about her and I just feel super lucky to have her in my collection. Next I got Truly Me number 67. Um, I named her Journey and I got her in July of 2018. Uh, I love this doll so much. I was able to get her for a super good deal um, from someone and I have loved this doll so much. I really, really love her tight curls, and it's been super fun. I'm, like, super... I have a lot of fun with American Girl hair and, like, the challenge of, like, keeping it as perfect as possible, and this doll definitely has a little more challenging hair, but I have loved it. Um, yeah, she's just seriously so gorgeous, super photogenic. Um, I just really love this doll so much, and I... I'm super glad I have her in my collection. The next doll I got, I got for my birthday, which was on July 26th, 2018. Um, she's Samantha Parkington, and she's an older Samantha, so it's pretty cool to have her. Um, and she's super cute. Um, so, interesting story, I actually, my very first American Girl doll I had was a Samantha but she was in really, really bad condition, so I ended up, um, well, I'm planning to make her into a boy. I haven't done everything with that yet, but, um, so anyway, my cousin gave me this doll for my birthday, um, because she knew I wanted a nicer condition Samantha, and so I was super excited to get her, and, um, yeah, I love having her in my collection. I've always loved, always loved the Samantha doll, and so, yeah, got her for my birthday. The next doll I got was Tenny Grant. I got her um, in October of 2018. Um, I got her from the same person that I got my Truly Me 67, um, and I really, really love her. Now, I'll admit, when she first came out, um, I wasn't like a huge fan. I wasn't sold on her, but as I saw her more and more, she really grew on me and I think she's just really pretty. I love her little curl. Her hair is amazing. You can't really see it that much because it's up in a bun, but 
her hair is really like long and beautiful and wavy um i love her little speckling of freckles and she's just super super cute um so yeah i've really enjoyed having her in my collection um and yeah she's just a beautiful doll the next doll I got was McKenna Brooks. She was Girl of the Year for 2012, but I got her in August of 2019. So my dad actually ended up finding her at a garage sale and he gave her to me as like a late birthday present. And I was so excited. Um, I think it's super cool when people find dolls at garage sales. So like, it was awesome. I was able to just kind of fix her up a bit and she's actually in really nice condition her hair is really nice and she's just a really beautiful doll um so yeah like it was just kind of really cool so that my dad got her at a garage sale and i was able to add her to my collection and i really love her the next doll i got was rebecca rubin and i got her in november of 2019 um i actually found her at a thrift store when we were on our trip to well, where I found her was in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I found her at a thrift store. I was so excited. Um, so I had to do a lot of fixing up on her. She had a lot of work to be done. Her hair was really, really terrible. I ended up having to like straighten it with a flat iron. And then I tried to recurl it. But as you can see, they didn't really stay in curls. So I just have her hair be like this. Maybe sometime I'll try curling it again. But um, still, I mean, what can you expect when... You know you find it all at a thrift store so I'm still super happy to have her I think she looks cute with her hair straight anyway um, I would someday like to have a Rebecca with curly hair but for now this is just what she looks like and I still love her um, and I was really excited to find her at a thrift store the next doll I got was Kaya and I got her in October of 2020 and again, my dad actually found her at a garage sale. And so that was really exciting. He brought her home and I was able to fix her up. Her hair was really, really bad. Um, actually, she needed a lot of fixing up. If you want to see everything I did on her, um, I have a video. It's not too far back because this wasn't too long ago. And where I fixed her up and did a lot of stuff with her hair and everything. So she's not perfect. But um, I'm still super happy to have her, and I always wanted Kaya. Um, right now I have her hair up in a high ponytail, so you can't really see it too well. But like, she actually turned out really well for how bad a condition she was. And she's just a super cute doll, and I really like having her in my collection. She's just very unique, and I've always loved the Kaya doll. Okay, and last but not least is my newest American Girl doll. She is Truly Me number 42, um, and I'll just kind of explain the story of how I got her. Um, so the same cousin that I that gave me the Samantha doll for my birthday, um, yeah, they're our second cousins, and they share the same hobby of American Girl dolls, um, and we like have super or have a lot of fun with that. Um, but her mom this year for a late Christmas present gave me this American Girl doll. I cannot believe it. I was so surprised and so happy. Um, yeah, she literally gave me an American Girl doll and I'm just like so happy about it and super, super thankful. Um, so yeah, she just gave her to me yesterday, which was January 31st of 2021. And I literally love this doll. I'm super excited. She is such a beautiful doll. Um, she's like Hispanic, I think. Um, and she's just gorgeous. So she has like this dark brown hair. It's like almost black looking. And then brown eyes and like a little bit darker skin tone. Um, and I just came up with a name for her today so I named her Luna Garcia so I kind of wanted it to sound sort of Hispanic or whatever so her name is Luna Garcia and um, she's so pretty and I really am excited to add her to my collection it's been quite a while since I got an American Girl doll and I was just super excited to get her so yeah that's my newest doll 
Okay, so all my dolls are messed up now. This is kind of a behind the scenes. That's what I was filming. Anyway, but that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my American Girl dolls. Um, and it's just always fun doing these videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to probably be doing um, an updated Our Generation doll collection too. So watch out for that. And yeah. I will see you guys later. Bye.